everybody. Welcome Hi. to the welcome to the podcast for Thanks for Play. Oddly enough, this will be the first thing going on our channel. So uh, I'm Scott, and I'm here with Zach and Jonah. So we're going to be talking about a lot of different things to the podcast, things that we might normally be able to bring up on the channel. Um, that being said, we're going to jump straight into it with our uh, kind of like a weekly update, things that we get to, um, things we've done throughout the week, games we've played, things we've seen, animes. This will be like our catch-all for everything that we've done recently. Yeah. Um, that being said, I'm not going to start. I'm actually going to leave it to one of these fuckers to actually... Oh, I swear a lot. Leave it to these fuckers to actually uh, open up. So, Zach, okay. what did you do this week? Uh, this week, I watched the most recent episode of JoJo, which not only had a brother of a character that already occurred, Darby the Gambler, Darby the Player, his brother... But it made a fucking F Zero reference, which was the last thing I expected from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So and I'm pretty hyped. JoJo's already like a fucking fantastic like anime in uh, itself. So good. Um, <laughs> the fucking episodes take forever to come out, but they waiting, do. W- waiting every single time for it is definitely worth it. They're so um, worth it. Fucking Zach. God tier. Zach the weeb over here. I am such a weeb for JoJo. Balls deep for JoJo. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, you fuck, okay, I am the weeb because I like the manly fighting anime and you have a Klana deck box. Look, (laughs) all right. We're not going to open up bashing on Scott here. <laughs> no, we're not going to open up bashing on Scott. <laughs> Clana you that's a, that's a later me. section of the podcast. <laughs> Fuck both of you. Clana was a beautiful masterpiece. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful, but hearts. don't call me a fucking weeb because I like the JoJo's. Uh, I, and happen to have a fan stand. <laughs> oh, but I'm over it's here. quite quiet, Riot. Uh, anyways, and, and have you watched any anime this week? Um... No, no. no. <laughs> um, he stays. He, he has a girlfriend. So, uh, <laughs> it's, no. Uh, what I did this week is I just got done with a twenty-four hour live stream. That was yep. a, that was a lot of fun. He did with his brother yeah. and some friends, so and so forth. So, uh, yeah, I played some video games with some friends when when it was you know just on and off. But it was a lot of fun. I'm never gonna do it again. <laughs> well, well, why were you doing it? Um, we're actually raising money to go to uh, Grand Prix Vegas. That's at the end of May. What's Grand Prix? Uh, it's a magic tournament, uh, the biggest magic tournament that's ever going to be held. Oh see, man! See, I'm just gonna say like he opens up with magic, and then we have to like tell people like openly that like I judge for Yu Gi Oh events. I was big watching Yu-Gi-Oh the play. animes. He, no. hmm. Hmm. You fucking play, don't you? I know I play. You I play, play this game. I play. Um, but yeah, so I that, just like card games. This yeah, card board feels good in my yeah, hands. My hands makes my <coughs> my hands all. I just nice. want to rub dark magician on my. Face. So all of us, all of us play way too much card games. Anyway. <coughs> um, I'm dying. What did you play on the stream? Did you play um, We started off with Magic the Gathering online, because that made sense to our minds. Yeah. We went to Hearthstone. Um, then I went to League of Legends. Did you play any real games? Uh-huh. <laughs> uh, oh, no, I didn't. Take I didn't that, MOBA fans. <laughs> I'm already losing them. Um, I actually didn't go to League of Legends then. I, we went, we played... How the fuck you guys okay, sit there so You liked League of Legends for a while. I liked League well, of Legends, and then I chose... Those MOBA fans when you okay. fucking played... Okay, there's two things you can choose, and for the MOBA fans that I offend, <laughs> I'm literally not offending you, because... This is completely true, and you fucking know it, I say pointing to the microphone. <laughs> okay. You either choose League of Legends, or you choose happiness. There is no in-between. Now and I will you fucking know it. I will say that, like, season one, I played Shaco. I jungled with Shaco, so that was, it was a lot of fun. Um, but besides that one little bit of fucking play... I never picked. I guess I, I guess I can't really talk because I mained Fiddlesticks, so like immediately no one likes me. You're not like Teemo bad. I mean, yeah. I well, I guess I played as Fiddlesticks and AD carry Twisted Fate, so I was fucking weird. Okay, you're the worst kind of people. I really am. <laughs> but no, AD carry after his AD got nerfed. Right, right. So you're actually the worst Shit. kind of people. Yeah. Except um, for I did good. Yeah. And I was mainly there for support and getting assists. See, like, season three, I was really big in, like, the whole rank thing, and I and I got pretty far into it. Yeah, weren't you actually almost to, like, gold tier or whatever? Yeah, I was I, I was gold tier for, like, a second and a half, which I really mean is a month and a half, because if you don't play for a month, they knock, your, they knock you down. Hmm. So I went to silver and gave up on life. Um, but, uh... <coughs> now I only play it when I've been drinking. Fair enough. And yeah, so you don't know the difference between that and I, fucking depression. Yeah, so I mean, exactly. It's the same thing. <laughs> See, like, is it your fucking credit card League of Legends? It is. I, I got, swear to God, I, it is. I, I it gave is. up on League of Legends, and then I found something called Smite, which is a lot like League of Legends. But the fucking 
the people that play are so much friendlier. They're so nice compared to Wii. Except when it gets released on Xbox. I'm pretty sure oh, yeah, they definitely. definitely called most of those players shit in the League community. Fair so enough. No, I will be the first to say that the League community is like... It's the, so the toxic. 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 It is the... Community. You will never find a more toxic cesspool of crime and villainy. That's... That. Okay. So, but, but yeah, we did that. Um, and played a lot of games. Fucking main Carthus. Raised a lot you of money. You aren't even playing the game at that point. You're still <laughs> going on. Raised a lot of money. Um, played a lot of games. Played a lot of games. It was it was fun. I'd do it again. Fair enough. Uh, for my week, I have a job that I invest most of my time into. <laughs> you tackled but, a homeless man. <laughs> I, I did tackle a homeless man. I, I do security, which is always a fun gig. Um, you tackled a homeless but, man. No, that aside, I played a I play a lot of like PS3 games because I'm I'm too scrub lord of PS4, and uh, I couple do a couple P PC games. Um, I was play FTL and I do a lot of Destiny right now. What would you so, play on PS4? It has one game, Bloodborne. A, a lot. That is the it, only, game, for only PS4. game on PS4. No. I, I'm literally looking at four games for PS4, and there's only one game for PS4. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now that. Injustice would be good, kind and, of. I mean, Mortal like, Kombat X is great. I mean, PS4 exclusive. Oh. I mean, there's one PS4 exclusive game. And that's Bloodborne. That's the only PS4 exclusive game. If there is a reason right, to get a PS4 over another console, that is the only reason. It's else. for Dark Souls 3. I get it. I get it. That's your opinion. Yeah, right. that's... Anyways, uh, is there anything else that we want to bring up from our weekly update? I did not get around to watching anything. Uh, actually, you watched uh, Daredevil, didn't you? I... Watched a Daredevil. I haven't gotten through the full first season yet. Okay. I'm only eight, 11 episodes in. I was going to no say spoilers because there's no listening. spoilers. But if you have not seen this show, you need to watch this show. Out of any and show I've seen, it has the best fight scenes. It has the best character development of the hero and the villains. That's and, always good. And. Usually it's lopsided one way or the other. Right. Like the, the main like, heroes is just like, I'm I here. I feel for the Kingpin. How, 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 does, uh, how does Ben Affleck do? How do they do that? How, how does Ben Affleck Shut do Shut up, Scott. <laughs> how how do you feel for the Kingpin? He's such they like They make a, him so human. Good. That when something goes wrong. Instead of fat Bruce Willis like he was from the Spider-Man show. Right. And you, I didn't even recognize it was the guy that played in um, Law and Order SVU. Yeah, the I didn't. I was like, that guy looks so familiar. I had that's to, that's I had who to it look is. it up. The it, guy who you always see like those poses of him, like doing like the ass shot, where like he has the under tag. These are their stories. Is like it that guy? Like yeah. he's always never, like standing in a. I, okay, for the people who aren't seeing me, I'm like doing lunges right now <laughs> and like just showing my ass. He is and, extending like, that leg. All the, right. Oh god! I'm yes, it's that guy. Stretch um, them hamstrings, but that show is probably the best Netflix show I've seen. That's a big thing coming from uh, Jonah because Jonah does a lot of uh, DC stuff, right? Yeah, um, and and I I think that show is probably better or on par with any of the superhero shows that are on. Since right we're now. still on a superhero topic, yeah. I'm going to bring this up right now. Um, me and Zach are actually going to see a double feature in IMAX of Avengers <coughs> and Avengers Age of Ultron, in which case we'll probably talk about on our podcast next week. Um, right now we're just getting super fucking hyped because it's going to be a great time tomorrow. Yeah, um, I'm getting a boner thinking about the Hulkbuster. I, oh my god. It's going to bust don't, my balls don't so get me, Don't get me even started. Hulkbuster is my shit. Hulk but we're not going to tangent on Avengers right now because, I mean, Jonah hates DC. Or hates Marvel. And <sighs> Jonah hates I'm, I'm going to go see Avengers. I'm just not going to stay up till midnight. I'm staying up until 10.05 p.m. Oh, 10.05. In which you will fall asleep on the car ride home and we will both be dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm driving. I forgot. <laughs> Whoops! Here's, here's the median, Zach! <laughs> I start the podcast that next week and I'm just like, All right, guys. Uh, my best friend's died. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, so that's what I did this week. I so, attended a so, funeral. So, <laughs> so, Jonah, what'd you do this week? Well, Jonah, it was Don't not very good. <laughs> Don't forget, shut up, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Zip. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> I am about to be. <laughs> God. <laughs> so, That's another thing I did this week. I got a cold. Are we going to talk about video games? Yes, actually. Yeah, we're going to talk about Opening up is one of the worst Western fighters I've ever seen Fuck in my life. Fuck you. This is the only good one. Uh, Skullgirls. Oh, so, God. Oh, Beowulf. So good. <laughs> All right. Hold well, on. Be Beowulf, the camera. naked snakeskin. I have the biggest hard on for Metal Gear shit, I'm, and I'm leaving the room so I can scream about Beowulf. So Beowulf, ah! <laughs> he 
he's he's dying in the kitchen. Beowulf is fucking pretty dope for being a big ass fighter uh, wrestler guy. Um, but he has a naked snake skin, and if you know anything about Skullgirls, a lot of them. Uh, a lot of the figures, a lot of the people, have a lot of different alternate color palettes. In which case, the color palettes are based off of things. Um, Zach, go ahead and give him a review There's, of Beowulf. Okay, fucking Beowulf? <laughs> okay, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> Skullgirls has done something with... Shit is so hype. <laughs> Skullgirls has done something with grab characters that I didn't think was possible, and they made them fucking playable. Yeah. Okay, because, like, I will, I'll play the shit out of Zangief, but he's hard to play. Sarabella and Beowulf are so fucking easy to pick up if you want to. Sarabella is so much fun to play. She as. really is. She strong she arms you. She's a grab character that can fly. Yeah. She has a glide attack. Fucking Beowulf has like the Pikachu upbeat charge that he can do three times. No, no way. No. Yeah. 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 He, he, fucking... yeah. She does. He super does. Um. Um. His attacks base around a lot of grabs, and he can. He has a folding chair. That's uh, called the Painbringer, I believe, which I believe is the same name for the sword that Beowulf had yeah. in the comic. Oh, I burped. Because um, Beow like Beowulf as a character is based on <clears throat> like this Beowulf is literally based on the Beowulf from the old like I want to say Norse. Yeah, the, like, mythology, the, the yeah. Norse mythology, not the one where one what's the name fucks Angelina Jolie, but, like, but that's based off the Norse mythology. Yeah. But take loosely that, based. Yeah, loosely Grendel based. Grendel gets... No, that's... Anyways, okay. keep going. But anyway, it is um, loosely based around that. But imagine that story being told through a WWE career. Beowulf goes against Grendel in a one-on-one -on -one cage match. Okay. And manages to kill Grendel. So and then his mother. Would that make would that make Beowulf a heel? I guess. Like, like you have to look at it like... Grendel doesn't kill anybody... Beowulf kills Grendel. It's, that makes that makes him a heel. Yes, but uh, that's actually explained through the story, which I don't know if I want to explain what happens in the story because it's kind of a twist. But basically, well, you what can't it get is, spoilers because he just came out. So this is you find this part out, or uh, like before you even get in any fights during the story mode. That the reason he fought Grendel is because it was a war against Grendel's race and the human race. And during oh, that point, during a death match. yeah, they settled it for with a WWE match versus their greatest warrior That's pretty metal. and Beowulf. And now Beowulf has two weapons that he uses: the metal folding chair, and when he doesn't have the metal folding chair, he has Grendel's giant fucking arm, literally, literally the size of like four Beowulfs that he just swings. Oh, Jesus! The thing, AIDS Christ. Yeah, the thing that's like you can do that for a normal attack, but the thing is. It usually will only hit, like, a direct line in the air or a direct line on the ground. So if you manage to dodge that, it throws Beowulf's balance off so much that it takes him a second to get up. So you fuck that up, and they're going to lead into a combo. Like, this is technical fighting game Jonah talking. Like, three frames? Are we talking three frames or, like, six frames of, of fucking... I want to say it's at least five. That's pretty good. That's, That's pretty balanced. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay. Because it's literally him tripping and falling over. If we're bringing in, like, like fighting game shit in this as well, like, to kind of match up things like that, um, fucking, this game is intense. Killer Instinct is a great game for being a Western, like, fighting style. It's great. Skull and Girls. But Skull no, Girls. No, no. I'm saying. Oh, you're saying. I'm saying oh, Killer Instinct is great. Okay. But Skull Girls took what Killer Instinct was doing, yeah. and they also added a whole bunch of flavors of shit that we wanted to see. Stepping away from the fucking fan service, because Lord knows... Okay, the there fan is a lot of fan service in that. Stepping away from that, just the fighting styles in general was definitely made for our audience of people. And it was great. every character is weird, and that's cool. Except for Miss Fortune, because I cannot seem to play her, and she just... That's fine. Me. She pisses that's, me off. That's the cool thing about Skullgirls. Parasol pisses me off. I don't know how to fucking play her. She's still cool, and she has a fucking... I'm decent with Parasol. She has a knee socks from Panty and Stocking colors. Now, I, oh. I jizzed all Philly over has a one. about Naked Snake Beowulf. I'm going to also jump in here and say, <laughs> another franchise I love, if you haven't noticed, I have a hard on for Konami, is... Uh, Valentine actually has a Silent Hill nurse cosplay. Oh, that's pretty costume. cool. It's yeah. fucking amazing. And then it just, it fits it. If her color scheme, her color palette, and when she gets into a fight, she looks dead on. That's what she is. One of my favorite ones is for any of you fucking Moe Weeaboo anime bullshits. Uh, a lot of the characters, I want to say at least three or four of the characters have Madoka 
color schemes. Oh, or Persona cool. color schemes. Yeah, right. but right. with the Madoka one, uh, Miss Fortune, the one that rips off her head and uses as a weapon, has a Mammy color scheme. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. It Which is, is great. There's a lot of good Mammy gets... Right. Um, but uh, the fucking color schemes for this game is just fantastic. There, there's... Oh, what is it? There's uh, 25 the big, for the, every character. For, there's 25 for every character. The big O is with Big Band. Yeah. Um, let's see. What else is there? Uh, oh, there's a fucking Helsing one for... What is that cartoon character's name? Uh, Peacock. For Peacock, there's Helsing, and she also has uh, the Warden from Super Jail. Yeah. Which I thought was she fucking has the awesome. Joker. Um, she's the Joker. And even like she's the Joker. She's the Joker. See, I haven't played this game. Sarah Bella has a Harley Quinn one, so you can play with Joker and Har Harley Quinn. Oh my gosh! Oh, and, and fucking you can do three versus Bailey. Bailey has a Batman one. You can do Batman, Harley Quinn, fucking Sarah Bella, yeah, yeah. and Why? I could do the Madokas. Oh my. Why don't I have this? I've never played this game before. It's so oh my good. God. And the biggest thing ever is you could do three versus three or any fucking iteration. Yeah, one versus three, three versus one, uh, and three, two versus two, all that shit. And the way they balance that out is one character has the same health bar as three little characters. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's cool because, like, with being one character, all of your moves do more damage because of the shorter health bars right. and everything like that. But the toss-up is with three characters, you can do switch-out attacks like in Marvel vs. Capcom. Right. And assists and just, like, crazy shit like that. So you could literally do Batman versus Harley Quinn and Joker. Not to mention, yeah. Eliza has a fucking... Who... Along with this, this is a completely kick-started game. Um... So a lot of the characters that have been added into this have been because of kickstarting, and we're about ready to get another one, which is Robo Fortune. All right. And the character before Beowulf was Eliza, and Eliza got a fucking Dio color scheme from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Of course. And yep. fucking Big Band. Uh, Big Band's uh, super is literally a JoJo reference. Yeah. Because, uh, uh, not going into too much of it, fucking... Basically, his ultimate punch is uh, do, 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 just punching, punching. Uh, and it's uh, Big Band saying that, but instead he's saying tuba. <laughs> tuba, 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 tuba. <laughs> and he's got a giant fist where the knuckles are all trumpet valves. And it looks fucking insane. And it's so good. Buy Skullgirls. It's like $15 on Steam. All of the DLC characters are free. Get it, put it in your mouth. Um, anyways, uh, okay, so that's that's all we have to say about Skullgirls. I think we've pretty much said what we need to say this week for Skullgirls. Lord knows we'll have more fighting games. Oh my god, week. when Robo Forge comes out, I'm going to pee. Okay, so uh, I don't know the next thing we're talking about is, uh, holy shit. All right, so we have a lot to talk about because of the Yeah, this is going to be a big one. Th this is a big one. Let's, 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 start with a, let's start with a new IP. Huh? Splatoon. Let's start with that as the new IP. Yeah, and because working out other Splatoon shit. we can actually move past pretty quickly. Okay. Yes. I don't want to waste forever. Splatoon is already looks better than half the Gears of War games to me. <laughs> Splatoon <laughs> looks like a ton of fun. I Shameless self bump here. We are probably going to end up streaming this because we're probably going to need it as soon as possible. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. Um, or or recording it. That being said, make sure you check that out because Splatoon, from what me and Zach have seen, looks like so much fucking fun. Oh, yeah. You're cute skit squid girls with paint guns and it's not about like it is a third-person shooter where the objective you can do completely without killing, which is weird. Yeah. But it's still really cool. If you don't know what Splatoon is, um, you can always it Google it and shit like that. You yeah, just it Google up. it. Look but it up online. It's so fucking cute and great and competitive it's, looking. I don't know. Like it's it's fun because it looks like you're gonna target like an adult audience right. without being too like kiddish. <laughs> right. Like right. kids could easily play this and have so much fun. And you can play this with your fucking little cousin and have a great time. It's like um, Steven Universe or Adventure Time. It's for adults and for kids. Yeah. And then you won't get the subtlety. The kids won't get the, the joke you know, of adult shit, and adults will have a good time. Won't get their youth back. Yeah. So, <laughs> <we're not laughs> so everyone's fine. Um, <laughs> and you want to say Platoon or anything like that? Um, so. It looks great. We are going to stream it. Um, <laughs> shameless self bump. Shameless, shameless self bump. But uh, I, I I have no complaints about it so far. So. Yeah. It, it does look a little really fun. Um. As long right. as there's a free, as long as there's not like a free guys, thing guys, about guys. It, yeah. All right, my my, my hard on is coming through my pants right now. Zelda, you Zelda, you. fucking greatness. Do you think that's going to be the final title? Or Legend of Zelda be... Skyrim. Yes, <laughs> like there's so many games being canceled right now. Don't do this to us. Let's Legend of Zelda: Land of Entropy. <laughs> it just, I, I, I need to see this game come to fruition. We, I think. It's going to be great, and it, like the fans are just going nuts about it because it's the first like like 
like it's an open console, like yeah Zelda game in a long time. Think of open world because it already is open world. Right, Link it's, can go anywhere, but it's really sandboxy. Yeah, it is really reaching back to the very first Legend of Zelda with how open it is. Yeah, because there was no fucking direction in the first Legend of Zelda. By the way, I, I mean, mean there's going to be waypoints. In right. That, By the way, can we all agree that Zelda Two was actually a good game? Yeah. Yes. Come on. Yes. It was, okay. All right. Zelda Two. People compare it to Castlevania Two too often, yeah. and I think that's really unfair. <clears throat> because Zelda 2 did so many things right, it was just cryptic and confusing, and it is a, such a great game if you have a walkthrough. And that is that is the fault in of Zelda In our day and age, it's fucking super easy to get a walkthrough. Right. Play through Zelda 2 now, having a walkthrough, you'll have a way better time. <sighs> but when my first time beating Zelda 2, I didn't have a walkthrough. How fucking brutal it was, that? It was brutal. A bitch. It, it was brutal, and it's painful, but I had tons of fun doing yeah. it, figuring everything out for myself. That's what the adventure is about. And it was really experimental. Well, there were some parts that, like, oh, they were stupid you, fucking, yeah. go get the goddamn uh, moat fucking floaty thingy. Do that the, was stupid. Yeah. yeah, you have to choose the one part off the beach you can walk off from. You have to walk through the wall yeah. that is never hinted at ever except yeah. for in three words of dialogue. And don't forget that in the middle of the fucking water, it splits, so you have to go in one of two directions and hope that you actually know about the second direction. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, I'm trailing off. <coughs> I, you were mentioning old Zelda games. The new Zelda U looks like it's definitely going to be a callback. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But, like, me and Jonah, we've played a fuck ton of Zelda games. What if it, what if it is a legitimate HD remake of the first game? And, like, we just don't know it. Yeah. I would be totally okay with that. Yeah, because it's literally... Be Ganondorf. Punch him in the butt. I, I, just hope that Link does, <laughs> I just hope that Link doesn't have green eyeliner like he does in the original. I hope he yeah. has pink hair. And pink hair, yeah. And pink I hair, super yeah. hope he has... That's my favorite Link. Yeah. Pink hair Link is the best. Um, he doesn't give a damn about it. I think reputation. we're openly going to say the Skyward Sword is fucking terrible. Uh, you're granted to like it, but... Where, 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 where? Okay, so, Zach's okay. Hard do you want to know my story of Skyward Sword? I haven't played much of it, but... My ex girlfriend. Oh, we're about to learn something here. My ex girlfriend. <laughs> story time. Yeah, I know, story I know. Buckle in. <laughs> my fucking ex girlfriend. Uncle Scott, uh, Uncle, Uncle favorite Zelda story. is Skyward Sword, uh, and she made me play it, and I thought it was really dumb. Did you just say that your? No, her favorite one. Oh, mine was Wind Waker, hands down. When oh, those Jesus. words came out of her mouth, did you punch her? No, because I didn't he, know about Skyward Sword. He just opened palm slaps that <laughs> bitch. Jeez. Just... No, I I never played it before, so I wanted to give it a chance because I heard it. I heard a lot of shit about it, but I, I tried to give it a chance before. And I didn't even I didn't even I got the master I got the being of the master sword. And I was like, this is dumb. But my favorite part was Groose, just because he's such a blatant asshole that you're supposed to hate. And I hear towards the end of the game, apparently he redeems himself, and I fucking hate that. because He I just, super redeems himself. I don't want him to. I want him to just be a cunt. Yeah, the but see, most game. people don't know about that because they can't get through the fucking backtracking. But bomb boys. <laughs> but bomb boys. All right. Bomb boys. So, <laughs> since, we're, since you've mentioned Groose, let's throw this theory out there. Are, are we in agreement or disagreement of uh, <laughs> Groose being the Gerudo captain? Chief, spawn yeah, maker. Yeah, okay. I also okay. love it because... Let, 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 okay, yeah. so, go so for people who don't know this theory, it's very <laughs> out there, and it's very... Uh, out there. Out there. <laughs> so, We're at the sorry. end of Skyward Sword, spoilers, Groose gets, gets on his, his oh, loft wing... this fucking 10-year-old game. <laughs> go ahead, flies to, into the desert. Yeah. And now, when you're in the desert... The dragonflies in the desert are called Gerudo dragonflies. Okay. So, it is a theory that uh, Groos started the Gerudo clan by naming him after the dragonflies that inhabited the desert. That's okay. fair. And started the... Just is the... And Ganondorf is his descendant. But, but Joe, that does, does, that, does that mean that Ganondorf is, is, is his son? Not his son. A descendant of uh, a descendant that literally of holds more water than the entire Zelda timeline. <laughs> Straight up. No, no, the timeline's accurate. They were my theory of the timeline is this: there's like there's adult Link and young Link, and then there's the oh fuck we thought about we forgot about these games. Let's make a let's make a Link die scenario. You see, you see yeah. my favorite theory about the timeline was that they were all the same story told by different people. Like that's so, not bad. Yeah, but, so it's like just fucking a bunch of people in an old folks' home being like, "Let me tell you the story of the hero of time. He had a sword, and he was an adult, and he was a child." Like, this is other guys like, 
what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> he was on a boat. <laughs> <laughs> and a train at the same time. He, he was that, on a boat. Those okay. are two different links. Oh, sorry. Sorry. He, sorry. That is the hero of winds and the, the hero, hero of trains. trains. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, well, and uh, don't let I forget the hero of the Menish. Oh he, yeah, he openly said that his was his favorite was Wind Waker. Uh, what's yours? My favorite Legend of Zelda, and I don't think if you know this, is Twilight, Twilight Princess. Princess. I know my Jonah. I know. Is my it Jonah. because of the Beyblade? Yes. Do, do, <laughs> do, do you know mine? Is it? Oh, Majora's oh. Mask. Is shit the fuck is. <laughs> But, I mean, uh, no fuck one, you, Macarena of Time. I, I can't say Ocarina of Time because all Majora's Mask is is that they took Ocarina of Time and made it better. Yeah, that's all it is. It's like it, it's it's a direct expansion pack to Ocarina and of Wind Time. And Wind Waker right. is like if they took the battle system and, and ruined of Time Zelda entirely and fucking made it amazing. <laughs> fuck you, the parry system made the waiting in that game mean something. <laughs> okay, but the whole fucking point. Oh man. All right, I like Wind Waker. I fact, love Wind Waker. I love Wind Waker. It makes me I, hard. But the fucking Oh god, the art style. The it's so the, good. The twenty-two Triforce pieces. The fucking. Just, there were eight. Oh. The ghost ship. Okay, the, the ghost, ghost ship. Yeah, we can't even okay. talk about the ghost ship. Okay, the ghost <laughs> ship was bullshit. The eight pieces of the Triforce was bullshit. But you can't look me in the eye and tell me that every Legend of a Zelda game does not have its bullshit parts. Ocarina of Time. Ocarina of Time. And don't you dare say the, the fucking Water Temple because it's not that bad. Okay, no, I'm not gonna say the Water Temple because you know what? I beat the Water Temple without the blue tunic the first time I played it because I didn't know the blue tunic existed. Okay, so Ocarina of Time. That's, that's what's pretty. The wait, wait. Let's talk about. That's pretty metal. That's yeah. fucking metal as shit. <laughs> it's not that hard. Of course, I did it for the 3DS version because I never had an N64 growing up. Oh, I also never had a Dreamcast. Fuck the Dreamcast. <laughs> 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 hey, no, I mean, I, you can't really argue that point. Um, so what, what was your whole big thing about Twilight Princess? Why was it your favorite? Um, <laughs> Whoa, it just completely shut him up there. <laughs> He's like, oh shit, it's on me. Oh, uh, what's up? Oh, I have to defend my point? <laughs> yeah. I can't just be a hipster and say that it's my favorite because no one else likes it. No. Um, I actually, Whoa, I, I know a fuck ton I get of people a, that like it. I get a lot of shit for liking Twilight Princess. Why? It was great. Midna. Fucking Midna, man. Yeah. I love Twilight Princess because one, the art style is amazing. Yeah, I love, it's I true. love the it's probably the darkest stuff. Legend of Zelda. It's one of the darkest. I think Majora's Mask is darker. Yeah, but a, we don't we don't talk about that evil sense. Yeah, but this one's darker in a literal sense. Literal sense. Um, Out the edge. I love the realism. The realistic. Link slips straight out of a fucking My Chemical <laughs> Romance music video. <laughs> Cold <laughs> Steel, the hero. <laughs> uh, I love the realism when you're in the real world. Yeah, just the the great art style, and then when you go into the realm of Twilight, I love the the total transformation, literally. Yeah, um, that takes place. T tell me that you liked Wolf Link. I love Wolf Link. Fucking thank you. I like Wolf Link. Was I a named great... my husky after that Wolf Link. Yeah, like his name is Link. The, the Link that you no longer have. <sighs> the, can we not bring that up? Look, you brought it up in the first place. I'm sorry. I had to. Tell <laughs> I, I still t technically have him. He's just at another home. Really? Personal I see him, problems I see him on every the stream. Week. Personal that, problems I see him stream. every week. I'm going to shut up. It's life. It's life <laughs> happens. I, That's what the fucking podcast is for. <laughs> they don't give a shit about Jonah's dog. <laughs> oh my god. I don't do Jonah. Next topic. Uh, <laughs> Alright. We've talked about Zelda U a little bit because there's not much to talk about until it comes out. Right. Um, or at least more, which if there is information that comes out, you bet your sweet ass one of us here will be talking about it. That aside... Go into what you're going to say. Go into what you're going to say, Scott. I was going to switch topics. I was going to switch topics to a different Wii U game. That no, used... so am I. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So I'm actually going to use this as a segue. Let's talk a little bit about Smash Brothers for the Wii U. Oh, yeah. This is the what I thought you were going into. I'm going to need to get my deep sultry voice on. Don't not break my couch. I'm also not going to break the couch. <laughs> okay, here it goes. Here goes. To all the fans of Smash Brothers... Who mained Diddy Kong? You got what you deserved. Get Rex new <laughs> I've never seen a fighting game character get that nerfed. They his skull forward a, Diddy Kong. His tilt for all of his tilt attacks, nerfed damage, nerf knockback. All of his smash attacks, smash attacks, nerf knockback. All of his air attacks, nerfed knockback. All of almost all of his specials. Nerf damage knockback. 
Okay. He's okay. not a character anymore. Yeah, he's not. He's a um, shell. I'm going to open up by saying that I, I, I'm a huge vintage player. Like, I do a lot of the N64 version. That is my jam. I cannot be beat at Kirby. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I just can't. If we you ever do a... like people. No if we ever fun. do a fucking recording of it, you'll see how pro I am. We'll do a recording of Smash where we literally play the first Melee, uh, Brawl, Brawl, and, and then, then the newest one. But we gotta, we gotta play Jonah's favorite Smash Brothers, though. If it's, is uh, it if fucking it's Battle M, Royale? It's not Project M, is it? It's Project M. Really? That's, really? What I, that's what I competitively play. It's Project M. Oh, he's, he's one of those fucking people. Fucking wave dash. No, wave dash. Really, it's just for the uh, speed. Other skins that you can get. That's all fair. right. <laughs> can we can we like skip brawl then or something? That's fair. Because like I don't want to fight. Project fucking... M is brawl. Like okay. with <laughs> other characters. Um, honestly, <laughs> do you guys either like melee or brawl? I love melee. Oh, you do? Okay. Melee's okay. Oh, uh, the reason I love Melee isn't because, like, wave dashing, it's the only tournament competitive one. It's like, when I got a GameCube, it was the first game I got, and me and my brothers played it all the time, and yeah. I had a lot of fun with it, and I found out all the douchebags like it, and I was like, oh, well. <laughs> well, I was just going to say, like, we could just do the vintage one, Project M, and then go to the Wii U one. Right. Uh, I usually main Kirby, even in the new one, I main Kirby still. Um, I have a hard-on for Link, so of course I play Link. Yeah. But uh, what do you guys What do you guys mean? Who is your main? For the newest one? Yes. Yeah. Come on. Samus. Oh, that's fair. Zero, zero suit or uh, zero suit. Zero suit. Zero suit. Se Samus sexy. is a monster. I can I can factor that. Uh, what do I do? <laughs> I for those of you who don't know uh, what I was doing, he's, I just did the fucking Gendo Akari, just like <laughs> he's gonna shadow clone Jutsu on somebody. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, I mean the big man himself, the warlock from Gerudo Ganondorf. D <laughs> King I D fucking C destroy with him. That's who I mained in. Brawl. Yeah. Good. And everyone made fun of me for it, and then I punched people off cliffs. It's so good. Did you overbe them into the abyss? See, I, I I entered a tournament over at, at GameStop. Yeah. And it was it was Brawl. Yes. And I was just like, okay, I'm not really here to win. I'm just here to have fun. Chose Ganondorf every single game. How'd and you won. Do? And I won the tournament. Yes. Did you overbe anyone in the abyss? I, so You don't want the overbe in the abyss? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought he was super slow in Brawl. How did he you, no, how did he, you, he is. How did he you is pull it off in Brawl? Um, I don't know. No. <laughs> People fucking edgeguard. And you, yeah. don't, you don't fucking edgeguard against Ganondorf. Because you know what happens if you edgeguard against Ganondorf? You're, You're both dying. Ganondorf's going to be at 200%. You're going to be at 20 But it doesn't matter because he grabs you and lifts you both into the abyss. And fucking. But, uh... So you mean uh, you mean Samus then? I mean Samus and anyone. Yeah. And, and Ganondorf and I yeah. You, when you stare into the Warlock Punch, the Warlock Punch stares back. Um, the fucking just the Smash Bros. games in general. I just fucking love them. They're great. Pe a lot of people say that they're not real fighting games. I think you're fucking out of I, mind. I think they should be considered a competitive fighting game. Yeah. yeah. So I think like, Sakurai doesn't. <laughs> don't, don't, don't cross. Okay, yeah. Don't cross. Um, but um. <laughs> Like, people are like, it's, always, it's not MLG-worthy, blah, 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 blah. Like, fuck you, man. There's a lot of people who put a lot of time into mastering this game. Yeah. I can't believe Diddy Kong's fucking I, dead. People <laughs> openly say that there's no versatility to this game. Bullshit. And has anybody fucking played this game? I know. Especially the new one? There's 51 characters, including can, the Wii. You can play as fucking... including Mewtwo now. Great D&D &D Link in the new one, which also makes me rock hard. Um, uh, I'd rather play as Great D to D. D oh, um... Oh, else, he's my second man. Hold he's on, so bro. <laughs> before before I segue into actually what I, what I was going to talk about, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I your, your actual point, yeah. I don't know why I'm fucking leading this shit, but I, I need to fucking throw out there that the first time I played Wii U version Brawl or whatever Wii U Super Smash, I played against Zach, and he's like, Zach, don't play your main character, play somebody else. Zach, motherfucker over here, right? I'm playing Kirby. It's gonna be a fun time, but I'm feeling really attacked right now because this motherfucker plays as Bowser. <laughs> Bowser in the new. Fucking Smash Bros. is wicked. Zach, tell him. You tell told him me shit. not to play as my main, so I played as Bowser, because I was like, okay, I guess I'll play as another villain. And I hadn't really main Bowser that much. And this was before Bowser got nerfed, before you could kill both of them. Uh, and I just sort of like, okay, Kirby's coming over, and I'm just like, 
huh, I wonder what happens if I charge my over A. This is my first time playing Bowser. And I did the fucking John Cena <laughs> drop kick. kick. He fucking double atomic leg drops me in the face. The most illegal then, move I've ever seen. He knocks me across the level, and I will tell you that there is nothing more terrifying than staring down a fucking 10 foot dragon Koopa monster that is charging at you. He's this motherfucker so... is going 50 miles an Have hour. Have you seen how fucking fast he is in the game? He's so fast. fast. It's insane. <laughs> Um, sorry, it's too hype, too hype. Uh, down, I, actually, down, but... I actually have three mains. Uh, it goes Ganondorf, Jigglypuff, because yeah. I'm a cunt. Uh, <laughs> and Bowser, right? Villager. Oh, Villager. Oh, uh, fucking Villager. My favorite kill I got with Villager, I'm so sad that it was a computer, but it was a level 9 Mewtwo with his new over B yeah. pro projectile reflect. I cut down the tree, he reflects it back at me, I pocket it, I unpocket it and kill him. It, this happened in a matter of like two <laughs> seconds. I like, I almost dropped my DS. I was so hyped. I was just in the back seat of like a very long car ride for a road trip, right. and I was just going, "Oh!" <laughs> and everyone was like, "What the fuck's going on?" And I couldn't stop. Uh, do you do you mean anybody else besides uh, uh, Zero Suit? I mean, Zero Suit's my first. Um, I would have to say uh, Link is very close behind. Yeah, that. Link's. Yeah, um, and then I really don't have a third because. I usually just alternate between those That makes two. sense. That makes I want to get really good with you two. Do you play Ganondorf still or not? I, I still play Ganondorf, yes. but I'm just like, hey, we're all drunk. Let's play. Yeah. I Of course, I main Kirby because I don't know why, but I mean, I've played this character forever. Um, I don't even like Kirby that much. Kirby's been solid in like every game. Yeah. Well, so yeah. Kirby, Link in the new one especially, because Great yeah. Deity Link, <laughs> I pick that costume every time. Every time. I usually, um, I usually alternate between that and Dark Link. Yeah, see, Dark Link's also Falco? good. Um, and then fun fact, <laughs> it used to be Wolf. But now it's Falco. Yeah. And Falco. that ain't Falco. Yeah. Uh, but, okay, I fucking miss Snake. He was so good in the last one. It's just, it's just if you didn't know what you were doing. You oh, you were terrible. Yourself. Oh, you were terrible. <laughs> My favorite thing right now is that there's, as far as I've seen, the top three characters mm -hmm. for being vooted in are King, Preach. Preach. Are King K. Rule, yeah. which is fucking awesome because that's yeah. finally another Donkey Kong character. Right. Um, Crystal, which I don't give a shit about, because Star Fox Adventures sucks. Why Why Crystal? I don't know! Furry Are community sure? is very strong. Hey, furry community is fucking fine. It's... All I'm saying is Crystal, though? Why can't we get fucking Wolf back? Or I the don't King know Leon! Are voting. I'm not voting for her! I'm voting for Shovel Knight, who is the third character. Shovel Knight would be sweet. Shovel Knight would Shovel be Knight would be fucking sick! All, I know we already have, like, fucking five characters for Zelda. I do want... I would like to see uh, Skull Kid. I want I would Tangle. Like to, I would really like an Impa. That'd be cool, because too. An Impa would be sense, I want Tangle. Since Hyrule Warriors, she has skyrocketed in popularity, and people have seen what Impa can do, because yep. in all the games, she's just been this background character, and then everyone's just like, oh, Impa's actually badass. Well, yeah, oh, no. Yeah, like, fucking she, yeah. She's like she Legend protects of the goddamn princess. She's yeah. like Legend of Zelda Cloud, but not D as whiny. Dude, no, not, not as angsty. All right. Re remember Hyrule Both Warriors, because we're going to talk about that in a minute. But, segue time, uh, Jonah, <coughs> Kafka, Amiibos. Oh. My. <laughs> God. Okay. <laughs> Simple business. I'm drawing a chart. Simple business plan. Charts. Charts. If you're going to release a product, and it's going to be good, and people are going to like it, release more products. Yeah, obviously, Nintendo, you fucked up here. Supply and demand. They're not... They're not supplying them. And this is like the one piece of hardware in forever that people fucking want and they don't have enough. Did anybody oh. see the value of Marth at that oh fucking peak God. when it was like not worth paying for? Have you for? seen Golden Mario? Or Golden Mario? Oh my God. I really, I'm going to look up Captain Falcon again when I when we get back. Oh, Just I because want. I want a Captain Falcon amiibo so bad. See, I really want to collect them because I'm really into painting like yeah. miniatures and stuff and I think I would really enjoy altering, altering them. Altering oh, yeah. them, but I can't find any of the ones I want to alter. Like I want to do a, a link. I wanted, and I had my hands on a link. I have I a link. Standing. Link is actually pretty easy to get. He, all he's of. pretty. I have Battle a... Creek. No, you would think so, but yeah, I had my. He's hands just on too a fucking link. hard. And then um, I had my hands on a Toon Link, oh. and I was like, "That's Wind Waker's my favorite," and I just wanted to grab him, and I didn't have any money on me, so I was like, and, "Okay, I'll come yeah, back." Yeah, and he was. <laughs> I also had my hands on a Sheik. <sighs> That's rough. That's rough. That's rough. Really? Yeah. I'm so sorry. It was sorry. at Walmart. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry too, Scott. Like, I'm... God. For, okay, for any of you who don't know, Sheik was one of the top, like, tier, like, K-1 
characters for a long time. People were searching her out for fucking ever. Yeah, Zach. She's, she's like two. She's like second on the list because Diddy Kong was first. I want to say or no, she's either one or two because I know the top two are Sheik and Rosalina because Rosalina. Rosalina's my bad. Yeah, Rosalina's really good. Rosalina. Yeah, Rosalina. Um, but yeah, so Amiibos real quick. It's fucking supply and demand, Jonah. Like, like I, Jonah said. It was I just... took one semester of marketing in high school and I know... If I release a product and everyone ra rants and raves and will pay me tons of money for them, Reggie, if you're listening, this is supply and demand from just, a from a college just dropout. Just in your shed. Guys, guys, <laughs> we are going to be getting extra waves of them, but we shouldn't have to wait for an extra wave of this bullshit. It's it's an action figure. That it's not even an action figure. You can't play with this fucking <laughs> thing. You put it on a system for you two seconds. You put it on a system for two seconds, and you take it off. Yeah. Have you seen the Mega Man thing where people are stacking all of their Amiibos on Mega Man, and Mega Man's just standing there, like, holding <laughs> it up, one-arming it? That's awesome. I did... I, I Have you seen, like, the... Um, Louis Armstrong for Smash? Have I seen what? The um, defective, like, Amiibos. That, like, like yeah. Yoshi with two heads. The or... Diddy Kong without the bottom jaw. <laughs> Some of them are just straight terrifying. Yeah. Did I've... you see the Link with two swords? Yes, I did. That would have been sweet to have. The fucking Witcher version of Link, apparently. Yeah. Um, all right, Does so... he just do this? He, yeah, it was, just, it was just two sword arms. That's awesome. It's like, like <laughs> someone didn't do their job. Wait, is it the full arm, so it's just, like... Yeah. That's amazing. He's just standing stupidly with two swords like, I'm gonna get you. you chuck him at someone, he just flies like we're a talking about fucking Link. wing. I know we're talking about Link, because we need a segue again. And guess what we're gonna segue into? Hyrule Warriors. Hyrule fucking Warriors. Scarf Link. Alright guys, so at this point in time, like, we are not spoiling anything for you. We're just big Zelda fans here, so of course we're gonna talk about it. Um, and Giant Coco. Giant Coco exists. You can fucking play as a gigantic chicken. That is canon. Tingle now exists, which makes me happy. Yeah, the fuck have been in the game fucking. There was a Majora's the Mask map pack. Like you know how great that makes this game. They they took my game and was like, here Scott, have an expansion on us. And I was like, thank you. I will skull fuck this expansion. Wow. I will skull, skull kid fuck this. Expansion. <laughs> I will skull kid fuck this expansion. Oh, uh, don't. <laughs> Please uh, don't. But no, the game's fucking great. The play style's great. For any of you who don't like Dynasty Warriors, you can go fuck yourself because the game's playing like fucking fantastic. But the thing is, like, there's hardcore Dynasty Warriors fans that are just destroying this game because they think it was going to just be a Why? Dynasty Warriors clone. It's and not. When, and when the combat pace changed, they lost their shit. What? Okay, really? This is a thing. They this is a thing. The the man who lives two doors down from me, man child. Yes, we know of him. Yes, I will not name names. I love Dynasty he, Warriors. He hates it. And I'm like, why? You like Legend of Zelda. You, you like, like Dynasty, Dynasty Warriors. Warriors. Why don't we just mash the two together, make which, a baby, and... Put sections in from both because you can't have the Legend of Zelda shit without the items because that's Legend of Zelda. Yeah. That adds so much more to it. But no, it's... And the flame rod in that game is fucking amazing. It's OP. <laughs> so, like, stepping away from the Zelda portion of it and just going to the Dynasty Warriors way... That engine, in and of itself, is fucking beautiful. The Gundam version of it is oh, great. Yeah. The Hyrule Warriors of it is great. I heard a lot of people don't like the Gundam version. Well, they can go fuck themselves. Because <laughs> I thought it, it was a great game. It was a beautiful game. You're throwing I love pens around. I'm throwing pens. <laughs> fucking Jonas throwing pens at Zack and shit. No. Um... No, I thought it was a great game. Well. And I, I... I mean, I like Dynasty Warriors, mainly because I was the second player, that while the first player was killing everyone, I just rode around on a panda... Running circles around the main character. Fair enough. Because, why not? Was it your brother? No, it was actually... Two doors yeah, down? Two doors down. Okay. Right. He's not quite three. He's, He's not quite three. Just two doors down. Um, oh, the Dynasty War. And I'm pretty sure so two doors down develop. will join us for a podcast at some point. <coughs> and when he does, we'll bash him for his oh, yeah. illogical opinions. Oh, yes. Um, But no, uh, that, that being said, I just felt like I needed to bring up Hyrule Warriors because yeah. it had a lot of good ex expansions. All right, so we're going to segue into... Um, I guess another break in the monotony. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna talk about Mortal Kombat. I love it. Um, this screen has nothing to do with the actual. But fucking... we're a part of friendship, and Sub Zero always wins. <laughs> yeah, Sub Zero is the fucking best. Uh, Jonah, go ahead and lead us out with uh, Mortal Kombat X. Mortal Kombat X came out. It, it did. And Are I you got sure? It. I got. Are it. you fucking serious? I've played it. This game came out. It came out. Oh my god, what happened? Um, and it, we actually played it during the stream, and we beat the storyline, and. The storyline's pretty good. 
Okay, um, since this is the first chapter, can I say what happens in the at the very end of the first chapter that made me lose my shit? Well, you, you don't... It was the first chapter, so that's fine. It's the yeah, first chapter, yeah, and it's fine. the... Guys, I, we're not going to spoil shit for I, you, so don't worry. I refuse to believe that Johnny Cage saved the world. <laughs> um, Johnny Cage saved the world. He has his own... Okay, no, you can't save the world if you have your first name tattooed on your chest. You um, can. I have my name tattooed on my chest. You don't. I'm looking at it. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually. Rubbing it with oil. Um, they can't tell that I'm not doing it. I have control here. <laughs> this is my domain. Whoa. Uh, whoa. Whoa. This is happening right now. Also, Kotal Khan um, is a better concept than Shao Kahn ever was. Kotal Khan is the most broken character you can ever imagine. I know. He has a 91% combo. It's amazing. And it's crazy. And I, I love his backstory. I like Reptile. Rep, rep, they, <laughs> they screwed Reptile over yeah, in that game. Yeah, he is yeah. so slow. Do you guys know... His, invi his invisibility takes like six seconds to fire oh my up. Gosh, yeah. What the fuck is his name? I'm actually drawing a blank on the robot. Uh, Cyrax and Sector are not in this one. Neither of them are? Uh, because they were in the first one, and it wouldn't make sense storyline-wise right. if they were. Um, the <laughs> teeth guy... Baraka. Baraka. It, this is what pisses me off. That he's not a playable character? You fight him in the storyline. You fight Rain in the storyline. You fight Rain, Rain the... and, and uh, Smoke. And, and Frost. Smoke. And Frost. And... And Melina? all of these characters that you want in the game. You know why they're not in it, And they right? just tease them in front of your face. Because they're going to be DLC characters, yeah. along okay. with Jason Voorhees and... Which, I, which, when I got the game, uh, I bought... Freddy Krueger. No, bought, Freddy Krueger was in the last one. Yeah. Right. But uh, Predator... Predator is going to be a part of this. ...is coming out for the game. Okay. Which cool. I think he's just it's going because to be a noob Cybot clone, which makes sense. It's oh, because they, so noob is in this one? Yeah. Yeah. They they had to take out Cyrax and Sector because they needed all their dread technology from Predator. <laughs> I'm going to say that Noob Sidebot was actually like one of my favorite names. Well, he's in the storyline. But you can't play as him. What? Yeah. Okay, you're fucking he's, with he's me. He's there for a flash, and you see him, and you're just you know like, what? You know what my favorite part Jimmy. of Mortal Kombat X, though, is? The uh, slash fake characters that exist now, that are kids of already existing oh characters. Oh my gosh. I love them. And you have to play as them for, I lo okay. for the whole okay. storyline. okay, okay. Ed Boon, Ed Boon did the best thing ever, and you know what that is? He brought back the only PS2 character worth any weight and made him playable, and that's fucking Kenshi. Kenshi was the best character from all the PS2 era, and if, if you can name one character better than Kenshi in the entire Mortal Kombat thing of PS2 era, please tell me it. But, Sub-Zero. This is... Um, this he is came the before only, PS2. Uh, he was this is the it, only though. reason I don't like Kenshi, because through the whole game, I just see... Keanu Reeves. I know he so looks like he super looks like Keanu Reeves with the beard and everything. I love Keanu Reeves, I, but he just like it's like it's like uh, Lex Luthor looking like Bruce Willis yeah. in, in Injustice. It just it just disturbs you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like um, you're excited for it, but inside your heart, deep down, I would rather Bruce twinge. Willis than who's so gonna be in the fight. Basically, oh, yeah. with you know who's Ed, playing right. Yes, I know who playing him. Will, what's his? Zombie Land. Zombie Land. What's his name? Come on. I, I want to say Michael Sarah, but I'm not sure. It's Jesse, Jesse Eisenberg. It's Mark Zuckerberg. Yes. Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg. Um, um, no. Yeah. Ed Boon has the greatest idea with that. You don't understand. Because soon, all of the characters and their children will fuck enough to produce at least one offspring to make the strongest Mortal Kombat fighter ever. That's the last one is going to be just... The abomination born from all of them just it's boning like, the <laughs> shit out of Shao Kahn. It's like that just like get that is hard, dude. <laughs> that's fucking nasty, like, man. Like shit, I just walk the legs. corner like, oh, I wish I was cool. Doesn't have legs. It's just Goro's arms. Goro no, it has, has fucking um, Motaro's fucking like <laughs> yeah. centaur legs. <laughs> okay, okay, um, this trailed off really bad. It's Anyways, so good. Um, so Mortal Kombat X. This will be a really small, small part of the yeah. podcast. Uh. Yeah, your nay on it. Would you recommend it to people? Yeah. I would. It is a great party game. It is a great game to just play with friends. The storyline's decent for a Mortal Kombat yeah, game. Yeah, it's a Mortal Kombat game storyline. Right. So the fact that this exists is decent. Right. Like you can't you can't go into the game expecting a great storyline because it's Mortal Kombat. It's a yeah, and game. it's yeah. like they made the stages first and then they built the storyline around the stages. Right. Um. But there's also this really cool part of the game called the Crypt. Yeah. 
where like you get coins with a K because it's Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Um, by playing the game, and then you can spend those coins in the crypt, which is a first-person view maze type yeah. thing, and you can only ex- that's a callback to fucking Deception or right. Deadly Alliance. Yeah. When everything started going to shit. <laughs> Um, Basically, Paul Raicho's existence. But there's there's tombs, and you open those tombs with coins to get certain things, which is either extra characters, uh, skins, or extra um, <coughs> fatalities, stuff or like that. Or sometimes jump scares. And there's jump scares in the crypt. I was oh, I was going to enter the spider tunnels. I was like, this is a great idea. Spider tunnels, right? I'm ready for spiders. And then my character turns, and, and there's just Freddy like, comes out of nowhere. And there's just a wolf in my face. Oh, damn. And it eats me. It was Foxy. I can't. What? Um, so there's jump scares. Yeah. I can't believe Saber Wolf right in the smash. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> that's three fucking ridiculousnesses. So, yeah, so that's my favorite kind of favorite part of the game because it's, it's really different. <laughs> favorite part isn't even the fight. <laughs> no. it's, it's, it's the jump scares. But uh, we're going to move on to our next uh, segment, which is really going to mm. make a lot of us mad here. Um, so mm-hmm. I'm just going to. I'm just. I'm just going to say this. Mm. How could this happen to me? Oh my god. <laughs> my mistake. Okay. All right. Notice there's still room in Metal Gear. <laughs> Metal, Metal Gear's not dead yet. All right, guys. Uh, 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 Scott is not going to open this fucking segment. I'm not going to open this one yet. I have plenty to say. Okay. But uh, but uh, go ahead. So, someone fill in on what... Fill these fucking people in on what's going okay, on. Okay, so basically Konami had a meeting with Hideo Kojima saying like, hey, can we fit Yu-Gi-Oh cards into Metal Gear Solid and Code Kojima was like, I'm done with this shit and he walked out. <laughs> okay, I wish that was the case. <laughs> but no, they canned Kojima. Okay, it's not official yet, whatever the fuck is happening. What we do know is that Silent Hills is everything but going to happen. You know, it's not. It's done. It's fucking dead. They fucking killed it. I'm so mad. So many f bombs. Silent Hills doesn't. Del Toro's now. exact words were, "It breaks my greasy heart." That's a fucking. That's straight from his Twitter. Yeah. You know, you don't fake that shit. Norman Reedus is saddened because he was so happy to work he with these so people. He was so stoked to be to be yeah. and be part of the video game industry, and he was just like he like on an, in an interview that he did, but I can't remember what it was. But he was just like, I'm so saddened that a masterpiece like this that was yep. going to happen yep. with such free range to it is now not. Yeah. Tell it, brother. All right. So, hey, man, preach it. Like, fucking Del Konami's Toro. Konami's an idiot. Look, Del Toro is <laughs> Like, an it's idiot. a singular person. Konami he, is an idiot. He is an amazing man. Yes. All right. Del Toro has a fucking mind that is crazy. But please, man, take a break for a second. Don't get into the video game industry because insane... Went down the toilet. Yeah. Silent Hills went down the toilet. Yeah. Either third time's the fucking charm, or you are ruining games we're never gonna see. I I like Del Toro as an actor. I think he's fucking great. Del as an actor? A- as a director. As a director. Yeah. Um, Wait, I what, what the fuck mean? was Del Toro in? <laughs> um, but no, like as I a director, see this. He, he's great. He does he does his fucking work. Was he work. Gypsy Danger? But I'm so <laughs> fucking mad because I really wanted to see Silent Hills happen, and we played the PT together. You know, we, yeah, all we all of us did. I visibly us. screamed. Yeah, visibly. Um, I do. Saw I, you scream. I yeah. do want to record PT at some point because I think that'd be a great thing. And um, you know, we didn't get the ending that we wanted because for some reason it just yeah. wasn't triggering for us. Because yeah. it's so like arbitrary and bullshit what you have to do that it's almost random. It's but it I mean is. I want to do it as almost like a send off because we're never yeah. going to be able to enjoy this game. And I mean, like these two can vouch. Like I am fucking heartbroken over this like yeah. grief stricken to the point of like i can't believe we actually had this happen metal gear thank god for the time being we're still getting phantom pain that comes out september 1st make sure you get it play it have fun Mark it and konami was never gonna fucking release another castlevania akin to like the original four no nothing the, decent anyways not- the original three two is not included you have god of war castlevania <laughs> which apparently is pretty and then you have you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shit on Symphony of the Night because I don't want to make that one of these. But okay, I don't right. like I don't like Castlevanias with RPG elements. I think they hold so much stronger if they are just you are a guy. There is no growth. It is merely skill. Yeah, and I like Symphony of the Night. It is one of my favorite. I'm a huge PS1 guy. Right. But I mean, like, um, st- like Metal Gear. Another reason why Konami's fucking everything up is Metal Gear, from what the report's saying, is that they're going to, after Kojima leaves and they keep the rights and and all that, they're going to end up re- releasing Metal Gear at a Call of Duty rate. 
Do you know what that means? A one, very big drop in fucking Kojima. Yeah, we're seeing one to two Metal Gears a year without Kojima behind them. That's his fucking baby, and we're going to see all of this just go to shit. Right. Um, That's just... It's... Like, with Call of Duty, there's not a lot of storyline you got to put in. It's just like... Russia's attacking again. Guess we gotta have all our protagonists die, except for the last one who manages to stop something. Oh, but what's that in the water? Jason's coming out with Freddy's head. And then he goes to the next game. Yeah. I, I fucking... <laughs> that was a great summary. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Don't get me wrong. I have a Konami tattoo, and I also have a Foxhound tattoo. I'm a huge Metal Gear guy. I always will be. Um, I would Honestly, I love Kojima, but I'll probably still buy the Metal Gear games just to play them. That being said, I don't want to see him leave. And you don't want to buy the Metal Gear games just to play I, them. You have to. Yeah. It's in your blood. Yeah, basically. I, but I, I mean, do have a question. Shoot for it. Is he still keeping the rights to Silent Hill? No. The, Silent Hill's, from from the way he has, Konami has the IP for that. Hmm. So they're yeah. gonna, oh, they've also openly said, we're gonna keep making Silent Hill games when every single fan is saying, why are you canceling the one we want to see? Right. All right, you haven't made a good Silent Hill game on your own since fucking four, and even then, that really that was drawn a line. That's drawn a line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, that was the, shattered the, like, yep. the shattered memories, like <coughs> the shattered memories storyline. <coughs> awesome. The the gameplay. The gameplay was basically Madden. It was fucking terrible. Go without getting tackled. Yeah. Get to the end zone. That's literally Madden. That's all it is. Um, but with Kojima being gone, and could you imagine Kojima? has such a twisted mind of Metal Gear. Del Toro has the suspense and horror. You mash those together, Silent Hills was going to be a fucking masterpiece. Sprinkle some Norman Reedus. Oh, spr yeah, a good Norman actor. His delicious facial hair. A good actor that has not only played in action movies, Bodak Saints, and a fucking horror TV show with gore and shit, Walking Dead. He was perfect for it. Yeah, he really was. We had an all-star cast set up. It was going to be great. One question. And ruined it. Did you think it was going to involve the cult? Or did you think it was going to call back to Silent Hill 2? I'm pretty sure it was going to involve the cult. I'm almost 90% sure. Because of the, the fucking... The ending. When we, hold on. When we play PT, I'll actually go into more on that. Alright, so we'll save that for a different time. But I'm pretty sure it was the cult. Uh, that kind of makes me sad. Yeah, I know. I love Silent Hill 2. Uh, Silent Hill 2, in my opinion, is one of the fucking... Best survival horror games I'd of all say time. It's, <laughs> it's down the best, and I've never even played it. Yeah, I've... Oh, <clears throat> it's because I'm a big baby. Is that is that is actually our uh, after after the podcast? Scott's actually going to have to change me. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's great bonding burp him. Jonah's gonna watch. <laughs> jo weird. Jonah's gonna burp him and feed him, and I'm gonna change his diaper. And uh, let me see the mom. I'm gonna shit everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. I'm the baby. So, gotta love me. Uh, I think we've covered. Uh, then this. you're going to put me to bed and you're just going to give it to Jonah. No, you haven't talked about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm gonna Jonah, hear the Jonah most. gives the best head. Do you uh, think... Here's a, here's a real question. Do you think that kids think they hear ghosts because, like, they just come in mom and dad's room? It's like, I heard moaning. It's like, it was nothing. It's like, do you think that's the reason people think ghosts moan? Oh, my God. That's fucking tough. You know, for a video, oh video my god, game. that's gonna haunt my fucking dreams. Just like the you're moans. gonna hear the moaning, yeah, yeah. I actually have a Konami question. We've talked about the video games, yeah, and I know you're a hardcore Yu-Gi-Oh player, Ugh. and I we've talked about like where they're taking the card game. Yes. From this standpoint, right now, how do you think they're doing with the card game? Well, uh, let, me, uh, let me go through my bag here and pull out my neck beard and attach that firmly below the chin. I've got a neck stubble. Um, I can't grow facial hair. I actually, I, I yeah. Um, he doesn't have the will. Okay, honestly, I judge more than I play. Right. You which, know why? Which, which is why? Do you know why? Why? Because the game's fucking terrible right now. It super is, but I still like it. Zach plays competitively. I judge competitively. We go to events all the time. It's what we do. Konami isn't doing bad per se, but they could definitely give us more love. They don't care to. I mean, the judge program, the, the individual that runs the judge program, she has so much on her plate consistently, I feel terrible for her. You know? And it's hard to get any sort of recognition out of Konami, because it's a Japanese-based game. To see any sort of support in the West is fucking close to impossible. And we see that with our player base. You know, we see that at our events. We see that for the judges. And I mean, if you talk to a Magic player, and you talk to them about their judge program, you hear about promos, 
judge events, judge conferences. You have all of these other levels, levels one through four, you know. Because it's American-based. Level, or one through five. And then, it, yeah, because it's American-based, they have all the support behind them. But if you talk to a Yu-Gi-Oh judge, moi, I can tell you there's just tests you take. You take two tests and sign up for a judge program and you're in. There's nothing else past that. Past that, the most you would have is how many regionals have you judged, how many YCSs, <coughs> uh, nationals, worlds. What do you have under so your belt? It's like building a resume at that point. Yes, yeah. which is fucking stupid. At the beginning, you're basically living out of a cardboard box, and that cardboard, in fact, is Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Yeah. I mean, do you know how better this game would be if you could actually be like, hey, in the judge program, what level are you? Yeah. But no, you have to say, hey, level 50 in the it. judge program... How many fucking events have you judged? You know, and I mean, I've been playing this game since 2001. When it came to America, I played it. I thought it was a great game. I still play it now. It's, you know, it's fun, but there's still a lot more we could do. And there's, like, basically, like, with Magic, do you think, okay, are all old cards bad? No. Are a lot of old cards overpowered compared to the new ones? You're, we're talking, like, vintage, power nine. Vintage. Ish. I think it's an even split. That's good. Don't play old cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. Don't. They're bad. Okay, like for people who used to like used to have decks that like ruled around like your blue eyes deck or your coveted like Gaia the fierce, Dragon Knight, yeah. Fierce Knight that used to play around the playground, you can't stand against competitive players because the new cards <coughs> are so much faster or so much like your opponent can't do shit that it's ridiculous. Like people used to do like Level limit area B locked down, where, like, everything with levels can't attack, and that's fine. But now they have shit that doesn't have levels and has ranks, and it's just ridiculous nonsense. But, that, like, that's going to get depth in the game. That's one thing that Magic has done right. And, Jonah, you being a Magic player, you understand right. yeah, I the actually, rotation of a block. I read, right. I read Explain real quick, what is the rotation of a block? A rotation of a block. Uh, in, in Magic, you have three blocks. Uh, I mean, a block made of three sets. Right. Um, so the re most recent one is um, Cons of Tarkir. Yep. Um, Fates are Forged. Fates are Forged, and, and then Dragons of Tarkir. Yep. That's your set. That's the drag the Cons of Tarkir set. Yep. And then you'd have a yearly set that came out in the summer. Right. Which is now going to be Magic Origins, which is the last um, core set. Um, and then you'd have another block after that. Yes. That would be your standard... Rotation. Yep. You could play a card if you were to enter a standard tournament. Those are the cards you could play. Um, Fair enough. As I take it from Yu-Gi-Oh, that's not the case. No. In Yu-Gi-Oh, unfortunately, we have a ban list. Now you guys have a ban list too. I heard. We do. What's your ban list consist of? Um, like no 20, cards. 20, no 30 cards. Right. No cards in standard have ever been banned from standard. Right. Um. But, I mean, there's 20 to 30 cards. That if you are go banned. through Modern, if you go through Legacy right. Vintage, each one of them have their own thing. Right. In Yu Gi Oh!, we have a comprehensive ban list that basically says you can't play these cards, or these cards are limited or semi limited. Um, we're not tangenting either. We do actually think personally that just as a whole, Konami's not doing well. They with need to get their the shit game. together. I mean, the economy's not doing good with Yu-Gi-Oh, in my opinion. I They've got that, two out of three foots in the feet in the grave. Yeah. They shouldn't and even have the third one. Honestly, they shouldn't. Kojima no. should. Because they took the name off... Okay, another last thing about Kojima. They took the fucking names off of the Metal Gear games. Right. You know? I mean, they put his name back on it now. But when you look at it and you see that your name has been taking off something you've been working so hard for... Yeah. You Forever? feel like shit, man. Yeah. I mean, you, it doesn't matter how you word it. Like, he still worked on that game. That'd be like another Smash Bros. being made, and then Sakurai, something happens between Nintendo and Sakurai, and Sakurai leaves. It gets released without Sakurai's name on it. Yeah, you're just like, dude, what the fuck, man? That's bullshit. It's just not okay. Right. And <laughs> now, Kojima has said in the past, this is my last Metal Gear, this is my last Metal Gear. He, when he said it this time, I wouldn't doubt it. Right. This probably is his last Metal Gear. And if only just because, like, Konami won't let him make anymore. Uh, yeah, so it's just a... That's just overall a pretty pretty upset thing. Uh, but yeah, um... 
<laughs> along with the uh, bullshit going on with Japan, there is a shining new hope, and that is... Star Wars? No. That Well, that too. A new it's, hope? You guys get that? Yeah, uh, yeah. But, okay. yeah. Fucking uh, Square Enix is finally Final doing Fan things right. Final Fantasy fifteen. So, uh... Letting you know, we are a huge... We, we're all in the Final Fantasy here. Everyone in that game looks sweaty as fuck, and it makes me uncomfortable. Um, they all look sexy as fuck. They, they look walk, sweaty and gross like they need a towel. They walk <laughs> You guys have two totally definitions of they what walk, the game is. They walk straight out of a My Chemical Romance music video. Alright, they are, are a cover band. You just got a hard on for the game because, like, timeline-wise, it looks the closest to 7. <laughs> Seriously, though, I do think that with Final Fantasy XV, they're going to do... An, they're, Going the right direction. Yes. I actually read an article today saying that they're gonna have an all male cast. A lot of it's gonna really? be a, yeah, it's gonna be all about like heartfelt bonding between these males, not Brokeback Mountain style, but pretty but like, damn close. I but, like hate brotherhood. but like brotherhood, like that's a, weird, huh? A Final Fantasy game without female playable characters. That feels like the wrong direction to go. I mean, I know the all female Final Fantasy wasn't exactly the best game. Which one is that, Zach? X two. I just feel like they're. I don't know. This that's could not be true. A, there was a male in there too. This not might playable. not be a bad not direction, playable, but no. You know, I, I just I don't feel like it would be a bad direction. It's not a bad direction. <laughs> it's just an odd direction. It's an odd direction, but I also think it's a good direction because there has not been a Final Fantasy about bonding with someone. Bonding that wasn't with like a love interest, right? Which would be fucking out of nowhere, and I'd super be for it if this game did have a love interest with all male characters. Oh yeah, like a, like a like a same sex. Yeah, that'd be fucking that, awesome. That'd be awesome. It, it would be okay. But guys, Japan but is holding on. Get, I, I, First I off, I'm not gonna like. I support the LGBT community. I fucking I'm an ally. All that kind of stuff. Right. But no, I feel like that would deter a big audience, and I feel like they want to make decent sales. All right, and I'm not saying like it doesn't sell, but I would like to see a good profitable Final Fantasy game again. Right. Because we have not had a good streak since 14. And 14 doesn't count, so we haven't had a good fucking game since 9. Alright? And if you fucking say 10, or, they, they got two doors yeah, down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two doors down isn't here to defend himself. Okay, okay, time. straight but, up, straight up, I will say this. Ten, I have not played 10, so I can't truly judge it. But Titus is the best Final Fantasy protagonist. I will throw my mellow yellow. No, away. no, listen. Listen to me, please. The reason Titus is the best Final Fantasy protagonist is because he sucks. Because you are playing as a character who very, 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 very slowly works his way up to relevancy. With Cloud, he's already a soldier and he's already a badass. So the most character development you can do with that is him coming to terms with his sadness and angstiness. And a lot of things. But, like, I don't feel like I'm growing as much, like, physically in Final Fantasy VII. Or eight, or nine, or four. I mean, 4 is a lot more, like, growing along with that with Cecil, because you fucking change classes out of nowhere, and that's, but, that's bonkers. I mean, it's not out of nowhere. Okay, yes. in 10, he starts off as a famous Blitzball player. Yeah, but with that, no combat. That, that is into combat. Yeah, but he, he doesn't... Because his dad, like... But physically, as a shit. character, he sucks. Oh, they all suck. Like, they, his stats yeah, are they, terrible. They all suck, and their his stats are terrible, but I've never felt like I sucked more as a character than the little... The very, very small amount... I played in Final Fantasy X. I've never felt more angry that I was playing a character. You've and that's the point. You've never done an all-white all, all mage run in Final Fantasy I, then. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. But, like... That's hell. <coughs> that, that, that's hell. Titus sucks, and that's the point of the yeah, character. No, is for he does. To suck. Final Fantasy X, in my opinion, I, I don't like it. It's It has too much religious influence. <coughs> There's just the whole love interest thing. It's just it's it's. I don't bad. want religion in you know, my video games. Look, I think two things should not be brought up: religion and politics. <laughs> it's not hard. I just don't but, think that it's relevant. I am, but now the fucking concept of like him going against his dad—that was kind of neat. Yeah, that's cool. And I think in a Final Fantasy world, we have not seen a religion that strong because I, I think we needed that because. Like I said, no Final Fantasy has religion been that strong. Like, we maybe to you, to me, I always seen white mages and black mages being very religious. Well, and I, they like, are always, and they are, but not to that point that Yuna was, and not to that point where Besaid was. You know, 
where this whole country like i really wish we, we had fans right like like you know people that would right. follow because i would love to hear from somebody like from people about why vv is not a loved character i love vv if love you VV. love vv like comment and subscribe <laughs> like comment and scrib scribble uh yeah yeah because <laughs> i'm not gonna lie vv is fucking great also if you hate vv like comment and subscribe yeah that's too. uh <laughs> if you don't know who we're talking about like comment and subscribe maybe someone will tell you about it um but Final Fantasy, you know why? You know why I think Final Fantasy Fifteen is going to succeed, is because Final Fantasy Final Fantasy Fifteen is an all male cast that is done with no characters that already precede themselves. They did that with Ten Two, and Yuna already existed, and I feel like they were attached to Yuna from Ten and Riku and, and Riku from Ten and Ten Two. I was, forgot there is a character in X Two named Riku, so I was like, why are we talking about Kingdom Hearts? We're not talking about Kingdom Hearts. Like, <laughs> that's not for. That's not for this podcast. Um, but uh, <laughs> anyways, fi- Mickey Ray, cool. just the way Final Fantasy goes is that like I feel like with all new characters being brought into the storyline and this bonding going on, and it not being Barbie dress up, hopefully, I feel like it's going to be a great game. The one thing that would fault it, Jonah, if you had to choose one thing that would make Final Fantasy fifteen not good, drive a drive a cool, drivable vehicles. Fair enough. Really. I think what we've seen of the game, I think if they implemented drivable vehicles into the game, it would take away from the RPG aspect and the adventure aspect. What about, like, a world map type thing with, like, airships? See, and they do that. They do that. Seven, in, yeah, I was going to say, I was like, seven. seven had that, four has that, but I'm talking about, all right, let's get in our car automata thing and drive have you not played seven or eight? No, but in as, eight, as a, a mini, as a mini. Yeah, game. that was a mini game. There's a difference between a mini game and a main implement of travel. In eight, I get, no, in eight you get a car. Yeah, you get a car, but you don't get it for long. And then in seven you get the fucking land buggy. Like you do actually get a land. You get a. I, I mean, not for long. But you get the air one in the end. He means right. like from behind the back, like Borderlands type, like car. Borderlands or Need for Speed. Like I think, oh, and, I, and I know they okay. won't do that. But, but that would be the one thing. Dead. That's the one thing that would just ruin the game. What would be yours? Linear gameplay. So, Need I say more? Did you no. just say Final Fantasy thirteen? Pretty much. <laughs> yeah, just, I could say Final Fantasy thirteen, or I could say Final Fantasy thirteen, and you don't fucking pick me in a Final Fantasy and give it a time limit. That that's true too. That when is you true. Put the timeline on. And give the characters experience things and not quests to level up. Because when you give them quests to level up, and you don't give legitimate things for them to find the quests, then what happens? You waste your entire time trying to find the quests to level up, to grind, because if you don't grind, you can't beat the game. But if you spend too much grind time trying to find the places to grind, you don't beat the game because you're out of time. It's stupid. Thank you, Zach. 40, I hate it. <laughs> 48 hours remain. Um, <laughs> Fuck my butt. It's... That's actually probably the best point is linear gameplay. If I had to pick something that would ruin the game entirely, it would be a love interest. As we talked about earlier, you guys would like to see a love interest in the game. For me, I'm fucking sick of seeing it. No, it I'm is a- in every single other Final Fantasy. I want to see one where the entire group bonds, but I want to see one where it just has the combat sequences of a like of a role playing style. Yeah, honestly. Honestly, I would love to see a love interest in this just because it's all male characters and that would throw everyone for a loop. And I would love to see an entirely platonic bonding game with a multi-gendered like gendered cast. Where it's just like... Because basically what a lot of Final Fantasies are saying are guys and women can't hang out to, with us without putting their wieners in each other. Eventually, yeah. Yeah. You gave me a look that made it look like I was like stupid. No, no, because I was like, was there a love interest in thirteen? And there was between Snow and sister. Sephiroth. Vanel? Vanel? No, uh, the sister. But S- Sarah? Oh, yeah, yeah. I know but she wasn't a playable character. <laughs> Other than that, between the party members, there wasn't a love interest. It, like, like Hope and Vanel flirted, and then that okay. was it. No, no, no. I'm just saying without that even having precedence. Like, Snow still had that interest, and he was a playable character. Like, if you want to do, like, some fucking, what is it? Cafe and what's her name from uh, Majora's Mask slash Ocarina of Time where yeah. they fucking do their marriage thing. Yeah. Cool. 
those are NPCs. I don't give a fuck about them. Yeah, there's but, gonna be love, because love exists. Yeah, but if I have to be stuck with two playable characters trying to fuck in my party, like, I'm done with that shit. But in 13, there wasn't that. No, he was trying to fuck somebody else, but he was still my party. Get your dick out, shit, and stay with fighting She, she was a crystal. Like, you can't fuck a crystal. He could if you wanted to. I could um, fuck a crystal. Oh, guys, let's charge our guys, JO guys, crystals. Guys, JR crystal, <laughs> JO crystals. We all have geo crystals. We use them often. Yes. Um, oh, man, there must have been a lot of positivity at the <laughs> sesh. Uh, so, yeah, there's there's plenty more of Final Fantasy for us to talk about, but yes. that was basically covering 15 and getting that out of the way. Um, anything else? Yeah. All right. Well, uh, time to move into the... Uh, we're going to wrap things up here a little bit. Um, anything you guys want to bring up? Um, yeah. Did you still want to do that segment of what pisses Scott off this week? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's in my ass this week? Um, yes, that is the name of it. What's in my ass? <laughs> what's in my ass this week? And hey, you guys could do what's in my ass this week sometimes. What's in Scott's ass this week? <laughs> Alright, so what's in Scott's ass this Here, week? Here, um, snap of a rubber, rubber glove. <laughs> oh, the prostate exams. Um, Alright, if I got past um, Konami... Oh, do we want to bring... Like, Can we make it like a personal thing? That's fine. Alright, because we've talked about we're, a lot of... We're things. people. Uh, we are people. Um, Alright, so personal things. I was told a story this past week that just really fucking pissed me off. All right, so two friends, they're, they're, well, actually, one was a fucking, like, my best friend. He's a great guy. I love this guy to death. His, <laughs> his, his best friend, because um, he doesn't like me back that way. Like, I love him as a best friend. He likes another guy's best friend. Anyways. It's, it's not me. It's, it's <laughs> yeah. Uh, these two are talking, and my friend owes this one guy some, some money, but we all know life happens. I get told this story, and I'm a reasonable person, but I get pissed off pretty easily. I would not go as far as breaking my friend's legs, though. All right? These two are talking, and we'll say person A is my friend, person B is the dickhead. Person B comes into person A's household, threatens him about not giving him his money, when person A clearly told him, hey, I don't have your money right now because I have bills and I have a life and I have shit I have to worry about. Player B... Decides to fucking go off and get all pissy and say he has a bat in his trunk and wants to fucking go all crazy and shit. And it's stupid. Why would you keep a live animal in your trunk? <laughs> he, had a, he had a zoo bat in his trunk and it was terrible. No, it was a baseball There were so many of them, I couldn't walk three steps. Ugh. But I just, I don't know, like, what what's in my ass this week is friendship, man. Like, I just... <laughs> <laughs> I need to sit back. <laughs> Zach, you need to pull out, man. Um, there's just uh, j just maybe uh, the real dildo was the friendship <laughs> along the way. Yeah, anything's a dildo if you're brave enough. Even friendship, <laughs> even friendship. And uh, there's always something in my ass every week. But for this week, it has to be friendship, just because I was told this story, and I love this friend of mine. And I, to hear that his friend treated him that way just really fucking pushed me to my limits. Um, but I didn't push him to his limits. I almost pushed him down a flight of stairs. Anyways, that's what's in my ass. I just got week. another follower on Instagram. <laughs> oh God. Uh. <laughs> Outros, um, what to look forward to on the channel? Because uh, this is our first fucking video. It is. Podcasting. Soon episodes will be uploaded of Rocket Robot on Wheels, which, if none of you know what this fucking masterpiece is, is it's like a shitty version of Banjo-Kazooie. Yep. And and hopefully we have no audio problems, we have no visual problems, we have no Much like almost problems. everything else we've recorded yeah. so far. We're not going to lie. Fucking <laughs> Walking Dead, Zombies Ain't My Neighbors... Uh, we filmed 12 episodes each, twice, and both times the audio was fucked. For, for, for The Walking Dead, we did episode one. Twice. Twice. And we did them as <sighs> 10 to 12 minute segments. So that was really fucking annoying. I'm dying story. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Jonah will be also joining us for a lot of these. Um, and Zach, you know, and me, you'll be seeing a lot of us in a lot of these videos, so... Hopefully uh, you guys enjoy. Anyways, thanks for playing with us, and uh, take it easy. Thanks for listening to my bullshit rant about Skullgirls and Diddy Kong. Fuck you. <laughs> well, we'll see you guys on the next segment of uh, Thanks for Play podcast. Yep. Take it easy. See you, fuckers.